Twitch. What a platform. Someone who is so irrelevant these days and so it's like your grandma trying to use an iPad. They just don't know what they're doing. You have to point where to look, what to touch, what to do. You have to tell them what it's called, tell them what the home button does every five seconds. But it's like your old grandma. You love them and you keep coming back to them and giving them attention because they're family. You love them. You love what it gives you. Love, affection, enjoyment. Twitch for me is just a good laugh. Whether we're laughing actually at Twitch for doing dumb shit like they've done again or whether you're actually looking at interesting and exciting content creators who are do pushing out and making exciting content for you to watch and listen to but let's check this out they've updated their sexual content policy or they did there has basically been additional guidelines explaining that you can more or less put your breasts on twitch which i find kind of funny so they have basically gone i'm not sure if you've seen but a, a, a couple of streamers have been taking advantage of it so they decided to change it and make it slightly acceptable i guess would probably be the terminology even though twitch to me is a kids platform i used to watch twitch when i was 13 14 i think if i saw a pair of breasts every time i clicked on it it would be very confusing all jokes aside though i think what they've done here is trying to keep relevant they understand that this war that they are losing with kick and other streaming services they might be winning in terms of the volume and who's on their service but still they are taking heavy defeats and heavy losses every day so what have they actually done though so this means the content classification guidelines what does that word mean i'm not too sure it's too long for me so basically you can add this almost like label saying that you are a mature rated channel so that might include sexual themes as it says there drugs intoxication uh tobacco use violent and graphic depictions which is slightly dodgy i mean are you going to start skinning pigs on line i hope not i don't want to see that and again i think a problem here is you know when you click on twitch and they you know you have that little picture of what they're doing what they're doing on their stream i i, I think for mature rated audiences if you have it you should not you should have pick it but it shouldn't be like you know you shouldn't have the tits out imagine a 13 year old right you're on twitch you see a lovely woman there breasts hanging due to gravity and you you know you're looking and you're trying not to get but you click it it's too late next thing you know you're getting twerked on for cash you know you're stealing your mum's credit card instead of buying v bucks you're buying twitch accounts and spending money uh, on a, a, a woman you're never gonna meet and probably will never meet in your life who you know let's be honest kind of looks like you're big toe it's not it's not like they're really attractive females sexual themes clothed intimate body parts such as buttocks groin or breasts i always find buttocks so funny how can you write that word and not laugh wearing yoga pants so hold on if you go to the gym and you film in yoga pants holding a split position with the camera pointed at your groin so you can actually do that now what the fuck that is fucking mind-boggling don't get me wrong i'm i'm all for um i'm trying to say this without sounding weird but expressing yourself you know if this is the type but this is just just like this is like one step away from only fans content you know if you can film if i can sit here right and you know twerking's just a bit of a joke in it you know you can twerk whatever but if i can sit here spread my legs and put a groin camera down there and then every time someone donates me a, a hundred quid i put on some shorter shorts you know that's allowed that's kind of weird you know body art and all that body writing i don't give a fuck about that to be honest i think that's just an excuse for getting your your breasts out don't get me wrong I am not artistic, I'm autistic, uh, and anything like that, to me, is just a waste of time. I'm never going to check that. Is it strip teases and another erotic dance? Oh, I'm going to every, when I start streaming, because it will happen, watch this space, I'm going to start every stream with an erotic dance and get on my strip pole that is uh, sitting behind me. <gasps> Educational context. Oh, man, you can already see that people are going to start, you know, really exploiting this. And it makes sense, because they're just idiots. How can you have a channel that's for kids and all this stuff and then add this? You know, you don't see it on YouTube. Don't get me wrong, YouTube's not perfect, but at least they have a, a foothold on this. I mean, drugs in... So now you can smoke marijuana on stream. Fucking sick, bros. Hey, hey, yo, grandpa, pass me the spliff, dog. You're now to, now to be on drugs. Nice. Marijuana. Marijuana. But just like... But because Twitch are stupid and don't have a big brain, they have realised what they've done is created an absolute cesspit and a cesspool for pervs and weirdos to exploit. We are making some additional updates to our sexual cut. We realise that our earlier caused confusion and appreciate all the feedback we've received. Thanks for always coming together. So they basically realised that they what they've done was not clear and actually kind of confused.
confusing and I think it's too right. I read all that information and said, right, so I can have two cameras. I can have a groin cam and show my groin if I'm in Gymshark leggings, all right? I can then start twerking if someone gives me 100 quid. I can get on the strip. You know what I mean? Like, what is, what is this? What is this nonsense we are talking about? Because don't get me wrong, I'm all about sort of expressing yourself. But the problem I have with stuff like this is purely children. I have a little... If you go on just chatting right now, I, I don't even know for sure if I can show you this. But I'm gonna... Look at that. There is already two... I mean, this morgue pie bitch, she's the one who's caused all this chaos. So here you go. Morgue pie's content is intended for certain audiences. So it warns you. It tells you, look, this is gonna be a bit rusty, a bit naughty. But look, if we go back, go back to this clip, it's not warning you here, is it? There's no warning. They, they've, they've already shown you. Like, you know, it's so easy to pretend and say you were born in 2000 when really you were born in 2009. You know, it's a switch of a button. We've all done it. Let's not pretend. You click on it and then it warns you. That's too late. I'm baffled. What is this? What the fuck is this that I'm actually viewing? I'm gonna have to go back. Go back. My, my penis. No, I'm joking. That is really disgusting. She's not even that pretty. You know what I mean? Like, usually when you see this sort of stuff, you would expect at least a five plus. This girl right here is a three. So, we're gonna look at Strawberry Tabby. She's the same thing, okay? So, she. It says 18 plus, right? But the problem is, it's already shown you what you're in for. If you're a little kid and you're already thinking, oh yeah, I love, I love boobies, oh my god, oh my. You know what I mean? You're just starting to work out what your penis does. It, you know, you can't really control it. If you then see that, you're not gonna be able to control clicking on it. See? That's me. That should be legal. You should, but the, you know, if people want to do that, by the way, I have no problem with that. You know, you should, you know, do that. Make your cash. There's a lot of weirdos on the internet. You should be able to milk them, milk them. Terrible choice of words. I'm so sorry. Oh God, that hurt me. I, I really am sorry. But you should be able to, you know, exploit these idiots who want to give you money for, you know, seeing the 50% of your cleavage, all right? You should be able to see it like this. This, you know, it should be hidden from everyone. If you want to go see it, you should actually have to go looking for it. The first thing you can click, just chatting, all right? Go down. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's another woman. But you know what I mean? There's loads of stuff here that is potentially a bit dodgy. They've clearly realised what they've done is a bit unclear, unsafe, and they've decided to go back. The problem with Twitch is they don't really have a clue what they're doing. I want to know who owns Twitch, who runs this show, because they are just as thick as dog pig shit. So they've changed some of their policies again. And they've completely rolled it back. <laughs> I'm so I didn't realise they got rid of it all completely. I should have actually clicked on this. I thought they've just made a few extra changes, you know. So they, they've just said, no, you can't do this anymore, which is, you know, at the same time, uh, I think, you know, you should be able to do some sort of way of look getting around it in terms of like maybe having its own section, no thumbnails, simply it's there, but they've just got rid of it. So all these women, and because it is mainly women, I've not seen any men, but I'm sure there'll be men with their schlongs out soon before you know it. They've now ruined that for them by saying, yeah, you can do this on our channel. Actually, no, you can't do this on our channel. You know, it's like saying, oh, please, I'm dying. I need some water. Here's the water. You know, you, you, you touch it with fingers and then they pull it away it's like nah you're not having the water i can die again i'm I, I you know i think i'm not trying to be like the grinch here but like you know sexual content should not be everywhere <laughs> you know it doesn't not healthy to see it everywhere you go it's the same with like porn addiction seeing massive obas everywhere and when you're young it gets in your head you can't deny it we were all young once you can't control it and you get these thinking these thoughts and if you're seeing this from a young age everywhere you go it's hard to avoid it now they've completely gotten rid of it which i think is a bit of a joke to be honest i think you know now you've said it's part of it you should be able to do it but look i want to hear what you guys think truly a baffling situation just in a, a bit of a joke you can't say you're going to do something and change it. It doesn't work. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. But it's just a bit of a joke. I mean, Dan Clancy, who the fuck are you, mate? But, you know, you've promised all these people who are going now on your channel, because let's not, let's not disagree. You've told people they can do it. You've then six hours ago said you can't do it, and yet people are still doing it. What, what are the rules here? Because people are still doing it. But, you know, again, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. But if people are going to do it and you're going to say you can't, then, the, you know, get rid of them. You know, oh, wait, you, you can't back yourself and be strong. Okay, I understand. I completely get it. But, yeah, Twitch are clearly just a bit deranged and mentally ill. Uh, someone, please tell me what do you think. I uh, I want to hear your guys' opinion. Don't recommend me these people now. Recommend me XQC. I'll give him a follow. Anyway, what am I on about? I think this is a joke.